Now that we've connected to Wi-Fi, our device is available and visible within the connected app. This video will show you how to navigate the connected app. In the connected app you'll see all of your devices listed. Some are connected and one at the bottom is unplugged. If we look at the unplugged one, it's clearly not available and the device can't connect. The others are available, let's click on one. Inside we can see certain information. The device is clearly online as shown by the blue tick and also some information is displayed. There's a status page and there's also a section for managing zones. In the status page we can see the version of the software and firmware used and also an indication of the state of the sensors which are the six sensor connectors at the top of the board. In addition there's some information on the MAC address and IP address and also critically there's some information on the Wi-Fi signal strength which should be greater than 50%. You can also restart the device and reconfigure the Wi-Fi settings from this page. Let's go back. Let's have a look at managing our zones. Select Manage Zones. Here we can see the zones that have been configured for the device. In this case we have five individual zones and one output instead of the usual six individual zones and one output. If we take a look at one of the zones you can specify which zone you're configuring which type of zone and also give it a name. Here we can see the various types of zones that can be configured. There's more information in the notes about what the various types of zones. You can also name your zone. Then you can save the details. A specific zone is the out zone which is used for configuring your output device siren or bell. The zone type is siren and it's specifically labeled as alarm or out. You can call it bell or siren or anything you wish to name it. Once you've finished your configuration you can sync to the device. This enables you to update the zones on your device as and when you add new sensors.